Susanna Fuchs, and this pie is typically Australian, succulent and dear to the hearts of almost everyone. But a recent phenomenon in Tasmania may perhaps offer some competition to the pie as a national institution. For Lilydale, a small town north of Launceston, has a bakery. Not any bakery, but a bakery that's decidedly French. <laughs> Lilydale's French bakery is run by Angelo Mariano and his wife Marie Magdalene. Originally they hailed from the state of Louisiana and were both apprenticed to a French baker in Lafayette where they learned the secrets of baguette and croissant, perhaps the two best recognized examples of the French art of baking. The biggest difference between English bread and French bread is the crust. The crust in French bread is very important, whereas in English bread it's not so important. In, in French bread we put the bread into the oven wh when the oven is saturated with steam, which produces a caramel effect. Well, it's caramel from the sugar that's in the dough. Well, you don't get the same effect in English bread, where the where the dough is much more important, the inside of the loaf, the white, the texture, how it slices is mu very much more important. In French bread, we don't worry much about holes. As a matter of fact, any French loaf, you get a good French loaf, would have a lot of holes in it. Another big difference would be the fact that French bread isn't put into a tin or onto a tray. It's baked directly onto the bricks of the oven, which again has a big effect on its crust. When Angelo and Marie Magdalene landed in Tasmania, they thought their baking days were well and truly behind them, but a chance remark led them to the Lilydale Bakery, which was closing down, and they had little trouble gaining permission to reopen it. But building up the business has been a struggle and a lot of hard work. At first, they found it difficult to get their French style of baking readily accepted in the community, and so they continued to make the popular Australian loaves. They also had to adapt their baking style to suit the particular sort of flour and the British style ovens used throughout Australia. What they ended up with was a special Tasmanian version of French bread. A bread that has found acceptance in a host of excellent little restaurants in the north of the state. It's a fine and beautiful morning here in Launceston, and I'm starved. But no sausages and eggs for me this morning. French breakfast? Not the usual thing, but it seems there's no shortage of takers. These croissants have travelled over 25 kilometres to reach this restaurant, yet they look and taste as fresh and as crisp as if they were baked next door. Mm. Whether you call them rolls or croissants, French loaves or baguette, they are part of the ever-changing scene that makes Tasmania one of the most fascinating places to live. This is Susanna Fuchs, Breakfasting in Style.